And speaking of, uh, Jack County officials say they do expect crews to restore power to Jacksboro sometime tonight, which is stunning considering the damage there. Uh, William Joy is live in Jacksboro. Uh, what are you learning, William? Hey, Chris, in that briefing just a little bit ago, crews said they are way ahead of schedule. All the important numbers have stayed the same. 80 homes destroyed, nine people injured, most importantly, nobody killed. But everything else around us is changing. Repairs to homes, as far as the eye can see, and to the school just behind us are well underway. Everywhere you look in Jacksboro, there's destruction. But everywhere you look, there are signs of recovery. Just cleaning up and making piles. Kim Vaselka was at work when an EF3 tornado with 150 mile per hour winds tore through town. And then there's a barn in the back. And then my house is there, or was, is there. Her husband was under a mattress at their home that's now missing a roof and it's back half. You don't even know what, where to start or what to do. Work has also started a couple blocks away. Crews are cleaning up debris and repairing roofs at the elementary and high schools. You know, I was here when this building was built and I saw it go up and to see it come down in such a catastrophic fashion is it's heartbreaking. Superintendent Brad Burnett says he's still in disbelief, shocked at what happened and shocked everyone survived. We can replace these buildings. We can't replace a student's life. Elementary students will have to learn in nearby churches for at least three weeks, but high schoolers will return Monday. So that our students can get back in a routine, be able to see their friends, see their teachers. Vaselka says her family is trying to keep laughing through it. I personally wish that it would have caught on fire so it would have been easier to clean up. Ripped sheet metal, flipped cars, and broken branches are everywhere. But everywhere you look, people are trying to get back to normal. So now we're just trying to, you know, get whatever and then just start over. The power being power being restored is definitely a good thing, but crews have had issues with down lines causing smoke inside homes and even a small grass fire. So they are asking residents to remain cautious as this cleanup continues. Live in Jacksboro, I'm William Joy.